Okay, so now we go to uh, KVL at loop 3. Okay, so ito yung loop 3 natin. Unahin na natin yung uh, dependent source natin na plus 4i sub o. Okay, kahit wala na tong plus na to. 4i sub o. And then, sa 12 ohms tayo, plus 12 ohms. Ano yung current na dadaan sa 12 ohms? So, I sub 3, reference loop current natin, minus I sub 1. And then, 12 ohms, tapos punta tayo sa 4 ohms. Dalawang current na dadaan din sa kanya. I sub 3, reference loop current, minus I sub 2. Yung current sa kabila, loop current sa kabila. Equal 0. Okay. So, pwede na natin isimplify ito. Pero mas maganda, palitan na natin. Ito yung sinasabi ko na ang um, mga nodes natin ay I sub 1, I sub 2, I sub 3, I sub 1, I sub 2, I sub 3, I sub 1, I sub 2, I sub 3. Dito sa ating uh, KVL at loop 3, meron tayong new uh, unknowns which is yung branch current na, yung branch current natin I sub O. Ayan. So, galing siya dun sa dependent voltage source natin na for I sub O. So, papalitan na dapat natin yan. Kasi kung Hindi natin papalit, papalitan yan. Uh, kailangan pa natin ng isang equation. So, magagaling yung isang equation dito kay KCL at node A. So, magkakaroon ka ng uh, four equations for unknowns. And mahirap yung isod kasi unang-una magmamano-mano ka. Dahil sa calculator, hindi pwede yung wala tayong 4 by 4 na uh, matrix at saka yung equation. So, wala siyang 4 by 4. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is isisimplify natin ito in terms of I sub 1 and I sub 2. KCL tayo at node A. Ayan. So, dito tayo sa KCL at node A. I1, A entering. Ayan. Okay, I sub 1 entering. At mapapansin nyo yung mga branch current natin dito. Sinundan na niya yung uh, sign convention para doon sa mga loop current. Kasi doon sa number 1 kanina, capital letter, yung branch current. So since, uh, okay din naman na ipagpares mo na since I1 is equal to I1, I2 is equal to I2, same direction. So, okay na siya. Hindi na natin kailangan pang e-state yun. So, I sub 1 is entering kaya positive. Minus, leaving yung dalawa, I sub 2, minus I sub O equal 0. So, ilipat natin sa kabila yung I sub O. So, I sub O is equal to I1 minus I2. So, ito, let's say, ito, itong equation na to, substitute natin, substitute, let's say, equation A ito, no? Substitute to, ito, equation 3. Okay. Equation 3. Ayan. Okay. So, substitute natin for yun, I1 minus I2 kasi I sub O eh. I1 minus I2. Ayan. Okay. Plus 12 I sub 3. Oops. 12 I sub 3. Uh, no, may akala lang i-distribute. Minus I sub 1 plus 4 I sub 3. Minus I sub 2 equal 0. So, distribute natin 4 I sub 1 minus 4 I sub 2. Plus 12 I sub 3 minus 12 I sub 1. Plus 4 I sub 3 minus 4 I sub 2 equal 0. 2 I sub 2. Ayan. So, ano yung, ano yung magkakamukha? Okay, I sub 1 muna. Yellow. I sub 1. Ito. Rawa. Okay. 4 minus 12. So, that is 8. 8. So, 8 I sub 1. Negative. Okay. Negative 8 I sub 1. Eight. And then, I sub 2. I sub 2 tayo. Ito at saka ayun. So, negative, negative, negative uli. Negative. 8, I sub 2. And then, I sub 3. 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16. So, plus. So, plus 16, I sub 3. So, wala na, equals 0. We can uh, multiply this by 1 over 8 para masimplify natin. Dito na lang sa kabila lalagay. So, that is, that is negative I1 minus neg I2 negative plus 2 I sub 3 equals 0. So, ito yung equation 3.1 natin. 3.1. Kasi galing siya sa equation 3. So, ano na yung mga gagamitin natin? Wait lang. Pwede na kukay ng kulay itong mga to. Para lahat ng pink. So, this is 0. So, equation 3. This is equation substitute 2, 3. Ayan. So, lahat ng kulay pink. 1, 2, and 3.1. Yan na yung simultaneous equations natin na 3 unknowns, I1, I2, I3, and 3 equations. Okay? Take note, ang required kasi I sub O, so gagamitin natin tong equation A, okay? Which is I sub O equals I1 minus I2 para makuha natin yung value ni I O. Makukuha natin yan kapag nakuha na natin yung I1 and I2. Okay? So, i-rewrite natin yung ating uh, equation in form of a matrix para mas malinis tignan, no? So, ang equations natin ay Ano yung una natin? Tingnan natin. Okay. So, 11, negative 5, 6. Tapos 12. Tapos negative 5, 19. Negative 2, 0. Tapos negative 1, negative 1. 2. Tapos 0. Tapos ito kailangan natin yun. Now, lalagay ko na na yung I sub O is equal to um, I sub 1 minus I sub 2. Yan yung working equation natin. A, para makuha si I sub O. So, that is 11. Okay. Negative 5. And negative 6. Tapos, negative 5. 19. 19. Negative 2. Negative 1. Negative 1. That is 2. Yan. Tapos, I1. I sub 2, I sub 3. Okay, equals mga constant natin 12, 0, 0. So, double check natin. 11, negative 5, negative 1, negative 5, 19, negative 1, negative 6, negative 2, 2. Ayan. So, calculator na lang gagamitin natin. You can use determinants, Kramer's rule, or pwede rin ito na lang equation. Mabilis. Kasi 3 by 3 naman siya. So, 5, and then choose number 2. Ayan. Naka-arrange na siya yan. No? 5, tapos yung A, B, C, I1, I2, I3. Tapos equal sign yung mga constant. Equal sign constant. So, 11, negative 5, negative 6, constant is 12, negative 5, 19, Negative 2, uh, 0, negative 1, negative 1 uli, 2 and 0. Oh, double check. Like, nag double check. So, ayan. A is 11, negative 5, negative 1. B is, ito yung I sub 2 row natin, negative 5, 19, negative 1. Tama. C is negative 6, negative 2, 2, and 12, 0, 0. So, equal sign 9 over 4. Ano yung 9 over 4? Pindutin mo lang ito, 2.25. So, I1 is 2.25. I sub 1 is 2.25 units. Huwag kakalimutan. Ampere. I sub 2 is equal sign uli. 3 fourth. 3 fourth is 1 ice point. 75 ampere. And then I sub 3 is. O, dito naman natin kailangan yung I sub 3. Pero magayin na natin. 3 halves, which is 1.5 ampere. Now, what is I sub O? For I sub O, that is I1 minus I2. So, 
I sub O, I1 is 2.25 ampere minus 0.75 ampere. So, ampere yan. So, I sub O is equal to okay, 1.5 ampere. So, this is our final answer for number, number 2. Okay? Okay?